If you're a designer or developer like me, you probably have hundreds of files in your Figma drafts folder that you've never got around to building. In this video, I'm going to show you Figma Make. It's an AI powered tool that uses prompting to turn drafts into clickable demos and prototypes that you can actually use or send to clients. Let's begin. Here's the landing page for Figma Make. You can access it in my link below. And if you're already logged into Figma and on the dashboard, you can access it up here at the top right, or even just prompt directly here in this new chat dialogue. Now, let's see how this works. I'm going to create a prompt here to create a portfolio website. And similar to websites like Lovable or Bold.new or V.0, it starts building this in the background with a chat dialogue on the left-hand side. On the right, I can preview the code as well as the design once it's been put together. And it's just finished. So let's check it out. Here's my preview of my portfolio design. And you can see here I can browse through. It's mobile responsive. And I've got the code to export or publish at any point. With that done, the next thing I want to do is head to my drafts folder and pick out one of my previous designs to convert into a clickable demo that also comes with code. Here's a cool website design I created not long ago, and I've got a few different views here for desktop and mobile and tablet. I'm going to simply select the main canvas here and right click to copy it, or you can hit control C. Then back in the Figma dashboard, I'll head over to Figma make. And on this section here, I can hit control V or simply right click paste and Figma will detect the reference for that canvas over here and then utilize it for our next Figma make prompt. So let me create a simple prompt here to create this website design and see how that goes. Since I'm referencing an existing Figma design, the prompt is a lot more simple, but I have missed out things like responsive design. So I'll have a look at how to add that in later. Here the design is done and that didn't take very long at all. You can see that the design itself isn't mobile responsive just yet, but it looks just the same as the Figma design, which is pretty much what I was after. Let me continue prompting here and ask for mobile responsiveness. Rather than simply asking for it, what I'm going to do is head back to my Figma design, copy it and paste it straight into this prompt. Now it should utilize this as part of creating the mobile responsiveness, making it a lot more similar to what I actually wanted to do. Since we already have the underlying code, this change was pretty quick and it only took a few seconds for Figma make. And it looks like the LLM model that Figma are using here is pretty good. Figma make does have a few other useful features like being able to click on different elements and edit them directly inside of their preview. For example, here in the header block, I'm going to change the font size, make it bold, underlined, and even use AI to change change the main text for this to something a little bit more creative rather than we are creatives. There is version tracking, so I can head to previous versions of the page before I change things like that title. And I can also see the underlying code and manually change that myself if I wish to. Here for the main feature section, I'm going to change the text from transform your brand to maybe something like Adrian transforms your brand. And the preview already shows that that's been updated. When I'm ready to publish, I can just head to the top right here, give my page a title and select publish. The one click publish definitely makes life a lot easier if I want to send a simple link to a client or someone of the prototype for this design. I did notice one issue, which is it's not using up the full width of the design here. So what I'm going to do is add in a prompt to make sure that this design does use the full width and that there's no white space on the right hand side. Finally, a big thanks to Figma Make for sponsoring today's video. You can do a lot more here that I haven't even gone into, like create guidelines and style guides for your prompting, as well as have a look at a vast variety of different types of community designs that people have made using Figma Make, like this really cool one where eyes are following you, or this chess game, or even this one where you can choose a color palette. If you want to see some of those examples, I'll link them below as well.